So I'm Saurabh and I'm one of the founders of Milap. Milap is a crowdfunding platform for microfinance, giving loans to the poor, uh, give them access to things like clean drinking water, sanitation, uh, training which helps them to get a job, as well as uh, providing uh, capital to entrepreneurs who are doing their small businesses and you know micro enterprises. I studied at NUS, National University of Singapore, uh, graduated a long time ago. Uh, did up my first startup, which was a regular tech startup. Uh, so we had developed this app for sharing photos and videos on the phone. And this is like much before the entire app store and the iPhone economy kicked in. So it didn't do that well. So we kind of did a distress sale to another company. And uh, I worked with them for around three years. And uh, after that, I realized that it's, it's time to start up again. Uh, and this time I wanted to do something which basically impacted a lot more people and impacted people in a, in a more uh, deeper and meaningful way than just a software for sharing photos. Uh, and I was always interested in things which everyone and everyone can participate, uh, you know, where the entire world, all over the people, all over the world can participate. And Milab really... Uh, brings these two passion kind of together. So on one side, anyone around the world can make a loan uh, and help a poor person. And at the same time, with every loan being made, someone's life is drastically being impacted. So I think, I think that really uh, helps me to kind of uh, define why we are doing this and why I'm why I'm doing this and and spending, uh, you know all my time in, in my uh, career on this. Yeah. So, I mean, when when we started out Milab, I wanted to completely disrupt uh, the way people do good uh, right now or traditionally how they have been doing good, which is like uh, typically more out of guilt ridden that, you know, I have given this $10 and it's average my guilt of my own or usually it's very personal people don't talk about it and things like that i wanted to completely disrupt that and also the way the money is being used so uh, that is what we are trying to do with milab so we say that you know 100 percent of your money will go to the end beneficiaries we'll even absorb the payment gateway fees and you'll be able to see choose the person whom you are giving the money to and and see the repayments coming in and how that life is being impacted so where I see Milab going is changing the way people do good and uh, making it very, very pervasive, making it something which is very, very like an everyday activity, how we eat, sleep, drink, party, people should be doing good and giving back to the community. Yeah, and if, if that can be achieved, I'll be really, really happy. Yeah, so, I mean, as I, as I said, uh, for me, uh, the primary motivation or the reason for existence is if if I am creating difference and meaning in people's life and not just my own life and uh, Milap really helps to do that on an everyday basis and uh, you know sometimes we just get bogged down so much with the operational stuff but once in a while you you get this really nice email from uh, a lender who has made a loan and he he talks about how happy he is on discovering Milab, that he always wanted to do this and uh, it was his dream to do it. And then, you know, when he saw Milab, he's like, okay, at least someone is living my dream. And that kind of really, uh, you know, brings back all the juice and all the, uh, you know, motivation to keep doing this better and better. Well, in a startup journey, there are a lot of learnings. Uh, I think you should, uh, the chances of failure are firstly are so high that uh, the only way to increase your success rate is to keep doing more and more startups. So if you don't get it right in the first one, you do the second time, which basically means that your success rate would probably be better than the first one. So, yeah. so there are so many uh, things which you learn uh, along the way just being an entrepreneur but I think the, the biggest quality of an entrepreneur is to be like this sponge where it doesn't matter what are your current skill sets right you just absorb whatever 
needs to be done, whatever is expected out of you to grow your company or to get things done. And I think that is one of the biggest quality of an entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, some of the other learnings which I have is that uh, expectation management, uh, just what expect what you expect from the world and how things take a lot more time uh, when you when you are dealing with uh, people and large organizations. Uh, also a lot in terms of how you keep uh, your team motivated uh, to work every day. How do you kind of bridge the uh, gap in the passion between you as founders and the rest of the team and how do you kind of uh, go beyond just extrinsic motivation of compensation and bonuses to actually intrinsic motivation of the people. And when you hit that, that's when you see real good quality uh, work and output coming out of the people. Yeah. So that is, that is like some of the softer skills which you learn just by uh, running a company. Well, I'm still struggling with those uh, <laughs> being uh, super productive. I hope I can pick up some in the future. Uh, but yeah, one of the things which I typically do to clear my mind or when the most uh, my mind generates the maximum ideas is when I'm, when I'm running. And I run a lot, I run long distances, and that kind of helps to just clear the air and it kind of, you know, detox my mind if there's something like that. I mean, uh, so one of the things, the biggest uh, uh, things which I've heard when we, you know, people say, oh, I always want to start up, but I'm just not able to do it. And then they say all these reasons about, you know, be it financial or be it about risk taking and things like that. But I think risk is too overrated and uh, safety and protecting the future is too overrated. Like putting your bets too much on what will happen next is too overrated. I think it's very, very important to kind of just enjoy the moment and live in the present moment and so if you feel a real urge to kind of do something whether it be a small hobby project or whether it be a trip somewhere or whether it be starting a company as well i don't think people should wait too much they should just take the plunge and not uh, think about how to what will happen if this doesn't work out does that doesn't work out right because life is at the end of the day, just about the experiences and each experience actually makes you richer and richer, right? And that is so much more important than uh, any other thing.